I'm SirTapTap, and there's a new Pokemon game out there. No, not not the MOBA. We're not going to play the MOBA. This is Pokemon Cafe Mix, which I didn't even know came out because everyone was just complaining about the um, the MOBA thing. So, um, yeah, we are going to play it. It's a new mobile puzzle game. The um, What I heard, happy birthday to me, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I heard, it's supposed to be pretty alright. No miners allowed. Well, actually, yes, they are, I think, but just... <laughs> you're not supposed to buy things without your parents' consent. Um, oh man, that's a pretty big update. Um, do I have Wi-Fi? I should be alright to download that .1 megabyte unblowed. Mew! Hi, Parker. I love the art, f the art styles of different Pokémon side games. New game. I love that they. It, oh, uh, I, I have a. I'm a big sucker. Ah, oh, Parker, please. Uh, I'm a big sucker for. Um, it's kind of. I don't even ha a painterly, I guess, kind of aesthetics. I really love it in uh, Yoshi's Island, obviously. Um, but I just love that the Pokemon side games they get to. Um, they get to kind of show off and try different stuff that the main games, you know. The main games just have to kind of stick to the uh, Ken Sugimori art as close to possible, and it's it's good art and stuff. But um, I like a little something different once in a while. So <laughs> you, you look, you, you can't you can't look at that EV and not smile. If you do, I'm sorry, leave, <laughs> get get out. This is not a video for you. Um, it's a puzzle game. That's all I know. That and there's a cafe. I can't believe everyone was complaining about the MOBA. Why was nobody talking about this? This looks really cute. Leia will be working on things. Hi, Parker. Yes, hello? Pippin. No, 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 no. We're just gonna be- whoa. Hello. Full screen text input. Hi, Parker. Yes. You know, I've just been playing The Last of Us 2. <laughs> After so much grim dark and edginess and ugh and violence, it's just nice to just sit down. V. It's nice to just sit down and see an Eevee wearing a hat, you know? Sometimes you just need that, and I need that right now. Alright, so we're gonna be- there's gonna be tutorial things, unfortunately, but it's- You know, this is kind of- this is a first look, it's a quick look. We're showing you how to play the stuff. Oh, is it like the, um... Hi- Yes! Yes, you're very annoying right now, do you know that? Yes, you are! <laughs> yes, you are! That's Parker, by the way. Hi, Parker. It's icons that represent the motivation of Eevee. Very motivated. I've never been this motivated my entire life, if I'm being honest with you. Try linking the EVs in order to get... Okay. Mew! I think I've heard of things like this. Parker! Don't do not do that, please. Um. I see. I think I've seen puzzle games like this. I don't... I have not played one, though. Note that every time you grab and release an icon, the move count will go down. Alright, so yeah. Puzzle game with puzzle game rules. Give you help from various Pokemon while you're completing an orb. Parker. Snubble! Hello, Snubble. That is a big, that is a big boy. Let's ask Eevee to be the- Oh, we don't- We don't get to be the other ones for now. Okay. Ten Eevees. Hi, Parker. So do you- Okay, so you can go through the other ones, but we have other- Okay, if you link non-Eevees, it's still fine. We've got some nice Eevee cappuccino there. Mr. Parker. Yes. I'm gonna get comments about cappuccino, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I say word funny to make you laugh, and people are usually like, no, tap tap, you said thing wrong. Yes! That's right! Yes, right, Parker. He's very insistent today. Hi, Parker. My very first cafe latte. Why don't we have an Eevee? I'm sorry, it's not a cappuccino, it's a it's a it's one of those. Very very different. Charmander, don't don't burn the shop down now. This, I know we need you know got to heat the coffee, but uh, Char, yep, it's a Charmander. This, did Pokemon just wander in here? Can you imagine if it was this easy in main series games to get you know starters? <laughs> Charmander just walks into your establishment like he owns the place. He's the first customer. What a wholesome game. What do we? Charmander. Okay, he wants a cup of coffee. I don't fully understand the difficulty in this, but I'm sure they will happen soon. V. Does cafe skill fill up the gauge? Okay. 
Now, speaking of mobile games lately, I've been playing a little bit of Angry Birds 2, and I... Um, there's a thing where you have to either get a billion feathers or wait like a week to unlock um, certain special super characters. And I've just been waiting the week. It's just, I just stopped playing. It's like, this is such an unfun, dumb mechanic. Because if you actually play, then all of your progress just goes to the stupid bird that you probably won't use very often. And it just sucks. Activate cafe skill. Okay, does this just delete everything? Yep. It's, it's, it's always the bomb first, is always. It's not quite Candy Crush, but you could say that it's Candy Crush-esque. And that you... well, not really. Other than matching things. It's, just, it's a matching puzzle game. It's not really anything like. It's not Bejeweled. I, I got acorns. No, sorry, there's a lot like Lepo nuts or berries or something. Char Char. Alright, it's, it's dawning on me that we're only going to play the tutorial. Um, golden- oh, they were acorns! I, I thought it was just like a Lepa berry or some kind of berry that I don't recognize. Because most of the games don't even show you what the berry looks like. Anyway. The acorns are very valuable to Pokemon, I guess. I mean, the gold acorns, they're not just regular acorns. Fill Pokemon's orders, build a friendship. Okay. So I figured we were serving customers, but this is way better. Well, I mean, there's still customers. I figured we were serving human customers, but Pokemon customers is way better. Hey, it's Min... Min... Minkino? I... I tried to say it's... Oh! Minkino! Mincino? Minkino. I, I don't know. I just know that that and its evolution were a pain in the butt to say in Pokecord, and now <laughs> Pokecord is toast! Rest in peace, Pokecord again. Um, cheer you up using megaphone. Okay. So I need Pikachu's. How does the, how do I sometimes get the other things entangled? It didn't seem to get entangled this time. Maybe that was something special in that tutorial stage, I guess. Okay, so there's amount of time or distance or something that you um. Oh. It's kind of weak, but tutorials. I really love the art style in this. It is so good. Um, I'm playing this directly from my phone, by the way, so it has to... Um, it streams to my Chromecast, which is why the video looks extra crusty. And I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, Nintendo games, Pokemon games, they usually prevent you from using emulators, which is... That's what I usually use to record mobile stuff. It looks a lot better, but sometimes you just have to use the real phone. And I can't frickin' output, I got a Nexus, uh, or I got a Pixel XL, and you can't, you can't use the USB-C to output HDMI, which would solve all of my problems at once. But no, I'm not allowed to do that, because they want you to use the Chromecast. Which frickin' sucks. <laughs> I'm not impressed with the Chromecast. Uh, it was $35, though, so I mean, th that, that part was nice, but it kind of feels like a $35 device <laughs> uh, pretty often. You see that crust when everything pops in? That's... Yeah, that's the Chromecast, that's not YouTube. Um, find two cafe skill icons to make them powered up cafe skill icon. This does seem actually kind of Candy Crush-esque with the combining power-ups thing. I don't know if it was... I don't think it was actually cafe... Cafe Crush. Um, candy Crush, but I was... Alright, I combine these two. And now it does... It gets all the EVs. Oh. <laughs> I like how the skills on this these beginner levels are like super useless. Oh, I was supposed to do this! Okay, I got it. Then I need to wait, no, rotate. How do I Oops. I'm not gonna get 60 golden acorns for this one. So does the position get stuck for the the trumpet? All right. I can imagine some real picky business with the skill icons now that we did that. Oh, only 15. Charmander's a happy boy. We, we were serving Mikano. I don't know why he's happy, but that's okay, I guess. Snubble! 
what's up, but this is a big snubble. It's already a line forming the front of the cafe. You know, one thing that Pokemon games usually don't do is the different sizes in Pokemon, which I don't even know if snubble is that, like, wide, but... <laughs> A lot of times, like, Mystery Dungeon and stuff, you know, and Ekans is the same size as, like, you know, the Charizard. Which actually isn't that big. Charizards are, like, four feet. <laughs> but you always imagine them to be, like, you know, an eight-foot-tall monster or something. All the customers are Pokémon. Is this even, like... Uh, are you, they're giving us acorns? Hopefully, we can sell these acorns and, like, pay our bills. But maybe the bill collectors are also Pokémon, and we just feed them acorns. I guess that's fine then. More icon links and a combo, higher score, okay. Is Kirlia like the most popular like middle evolution? Not counting things that were like, you know, electabuzz and stuff that are like added later on. People seem to like Kirlia almost as much as like Gardevoir. Link 15. Alright, that's enough for Squirtles. Oh, I just need to- Ooh! Big boy! Oh. <laughs> Trumpets aren't really that impressive. Alright, there we go. Happy Snubble. I'm just watching the Chromecast preview. It it, it it kind of looks just fine sometimes, and it gets really scummy. And it's just it's not made for like high movement. I I guess. I mean, you're supposed to be able to stream Netflix and crap on it. I mean, it should work better than it does, but whatever. It's complaining about a thirty-five dollar piece of electronics. Does anybody have a Chromecast like sixty FPS HD Fancy Boy Edition? Are those notably better? Cause like, I would like to improve my quality of videos like this, but I don't... I don't really need this a lot. Usually, whenever there's a new Pokémon game on mobile, actually, is when I... when I need this, come to think of it. I was gonna... this is on... this is on Nintendo Switch too, by the way, I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, you can download it on Switch. It's the same game. Um, it's still... it's all touch control. Which, I can't... you know... Could I? No, because I, I, I'd have to be docked, so no, I can't really record it that way. More cafe tools, prepare different kinds of dishes. I'm a sucker for food game. That's actually why I originally played Food Fantasy, which F in the chat for Food Fantasy. I mean, it's still around, but it, it's just not popular anymore, and it, it burned me out. It grinded me out really bad with the whole paid, like, outfit gashapon stuff. That, that grossed me out. But, um... I thought it was going to be more of a, like, restaurant management game, and I, I like restaurant management stuff. Oh, in fact, there's a, there's a, like, Old Granny's Diner Heart... Heart something cafe or something that I need to play. Uh, I've been recommended that a long time ago, I think, <laughs> over a year or two ago. I have I have it on my phone, don't worry, I, I will play it some, some someday. Um, I've been playing lots of Flash games, though. Orders left for... What's this mean? You need to check Pokemon Cafe. Complete orders to make your cafe better. Oh, you unlock Pokemon and menu items and crap as you, uh... I guess, serve orders. Then you can know. I'm gonna, pr I'm gonna pronounce it differently every time, guys. It's just to make you angry. That is a happy snobble. That's so cute. The, the scrolling is not smooth because of Chromecast, but I assure you it looks perfectly fine on the phone. It looks really good. Hi, Charmander. Look. Look, look how happy everything is! You, you can't... Look, it's a mobile puzzle game. I'm sure I will eventually get tired of it. I'm sure there will eventually be a lot of grind. But look at that. You just... <laughs> Let's get ready to fulfill the next order. Come to me. Oh, here we go. And I think, I think the best way to play mobile games really is, especially free-to-play stuff, realize there's going to be a point where it's just pay-to-win, it just frustrates you, and as soon as you get to that point, just stop. Just stop playing. You just have to be able to recognize that point um, and stop playing. 
next to a sugar cube to clear it. All right. Um, I'm I'm perfectly aware that's gonna happen with Angry Birds too. Um, I'm in fact already kind of feeling it. I'm on stage like 50 or so, um, and I I like actually lost for the first time ever a, a couple stages ago. When I, there's a, there's this boss with he like teleports into a different part of the level and it's really picky and stupid. And I feel like I'm supposed to use um, skills and stuff, but I don't like to use those. That skills that you can pay for are like the number one okay hmm this puzzle game is gonna be bs and not actually be about you know solving puzzles at all is it that's that's how candy crush gets you they don't want you to pay for boosts and they give you levels they're like randomly generated partially and they're you either have to get so insanely lucky oh right i'm supposed <laughs> i'm supposed to break the sugar cubes i'm too busy talking to like think about the game um But yeah, they, they give you these quote-unquote boosts, and then like, late levels in the game, um... Plants vs. Zombies 2 was like this too. You just have to use the paid boosts, because levels are basically impossible without them, and it just... It, it takes a cool game, and it's like, oh... You, you just want me to pay. And once you get to that point, like I was saying... Friendship bonus, now active. <laughs> um... Once you get to that point, you just have to put the game down and delete it. Because uh, otherwise, you're either going to waste a lot of time, you're going to be really frustrated, or your wallet's going to hurt. Most likely, all three. Um, and I, I do not have the time for that. And I, I'm pretty adamant about not spending money if it's just... I don't like spending money on consumable stuff. My, my thing in mobile games is, if I can pay to make the game permanently better, or whatever, I'll do that. I loved Pokemon Quest. Pokemon Quest was great. Um, and it sucks they never added more Pokemon to that, or just added anything. They never added anything. They only did bug fixes. I really like that game a lot. I mean, heck, I did four live streams of it, I think. Uh, it was really good. And I was kind of hoping this would be a lot like it. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's totally different, but hey, so far it's been good. I'm... I, I have the feeling that eventually it gets to the point where you need paid boost. In fact, I'm suspicious, because, like, what... Oh, uh, we have... Okay, so this stamina. I was wondering, like, where's the monetization thing? Because this is free to play. So I know... Something. Can you buy... You can buy acorns. Yeah, you can buy a Special Pikachu pack. Um... See? Oh, see? It gives you these bonus skills. That, that, that makes me a little suspicious. Um... What's this, though? Sweets Pikachu, skill plus times three. So is this, but that's not... Sweets Pikachu. I think... I think Sweets Pikachu is the only, like, permanent bonus here. These are, like, I think just things that you can use to make the game easier, which... Like I said, eventually there will probably come a point where the puzzles are impossible if you don't pay for boosts. Which sucks, but that's just kind of how these go. But there's nothing wrong with enjoying the game until you get to that point. It's just some people have an addictive personality and they can't stop once they get to that point. And if that is the case for you, you probably should not play games like this. Um, it's just a case of you got to kind of know your limits and know what's good for you. Uh, I should probably... I see it's been changed to V, isn't it like VOY in um, Let's Go? There we go. Aw, oh, come on, that was totally... Ugh, whatever. There we go. Now I want tea. It's 11pm and I want tea. I guess I can get some chamomile tea. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I probably should, because I'm still, like, completely alert doing a video at 11 p.m. on a weeknight. Maybe not the best idea. I thought I would be too tired, and that's opposite. I guess Charmander is our friend. Sorry I'm not reading the dialogue, by the way, but I mean, it's pretty basic, and it's quick enough to read. You're not really missing much story. We're friends with the Charmander now. I really like this art style, by the way. I've said it a couple times, but... Someone's gonna get mad at me for liking video games. I love that mindset on YouTube. He's got a hat. 
I actually like him better without the hat. I gotta say, I'm anti-hat. I mean, it's the uniform, I guess. But I would prefer to just not wear the hat, but whatever. The scarf is fine. You can keep the scarf, but I'm just not a hat kind of guy. I like it on anime girl Lee over here, though, honestly. But... A little strange on Poker Man. Oh, it's not good. Assign leader Pokemon. Let's assign Charmander. So what does the leader do, though? Oh, they have skills. Okay. Clears Pokemon icons. Specialty is drinks. Okie dokie. So what's... Hold on. I just wanted to double check. What's the price of that Pikachu bag? Four bucks. That's not too bad. That's usually kind of what they do. They, they want you to make just one of the mobile game trickery things is, or just really is human psychology, you know, applied to business. Um, if you make a small purchase ever, you're drastically more likely to spend in the future. So that's why a lot of these games are like, okay, you can spend a small amount of money and you get really crazy good stuff. And then when you need, when you want to spend money later, you get a lot less. Like look, look right here, four bucks. Actually, the amount of acorns kind of just seems to keep scale, but you get the sweets, Pikachu, and crap. I bet you can- can you only get this once? I, d I don't know. But if you just bought them directly... Actually, the prices don't really seem that scummy when I'm looking at it. Um, there was- oh jeez, what was it? Pokemon Rumble Rush. The prices in that were really scummy. Like, they, they did not scale, like you would think. Um, that's adorable. Um, they didn't really, like, improve, and uh, I did not like that game at all. Did I do videos of that game? I honestly forget. I think I did. I think I did, like, one video talking about it. But yeah, this is Pokemon... Uh, what is this? Pokemon Cafe Mix. And it seems pretty cool. I'm sure there will come a point where the puzzles are impossible without boosts. But, um, like I said... Unless you have an addictive personality, you just... You play until you realize you're at that point, and you just stop playing. That's my recommendation for... Honestly, anything free-to-play mobile. It sucks it has to be that way. I would love to just, you know, pay something up front. What I liked about the most about uh, Pokemon Quest, I think was really underrated with it, is... You basically just buy that game out of being free-to-play. Let's play one more level while I'm talking. Um, I need to wrap the video up here, but one more level. Um, but with Pokemon... Uh, you can fill the gauge faster if you use the right special if you got it. Um, yeah, with Pokemon Quest, there were these three packs you could buy, and you could even buy them, like, as a, um, you know, all-in-one kind of deal, where you get them a little bit cheaper. I think it was, like, 30 bucks. Oops. Oops. D don't. Okay, hold all the way. Um... Playing puzzle games while talking is more difficult than you might think, honestly. Um, <laughs> oh, because he. Oh, okay. That's that's cute. That's why he has the uh, the the hot drink specialty. Um, crap, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but you just basically with the upgrade packs in Pokemon Quest, you just buy the game out of being free to play, you know, slow grind, to you have so much extra currency, it doesn't really feel free to play anymore. Like you could just buy amazing amounts of energy if you um, fill, uh, complete the shop. Like I have like 3,000 tickets in that game, right? I'll, I, bu I bought the packs and I'll never, I'll never need to do the free to play stuff again, right? And that's really cool. I wish more games were like that. I think Pokemon or Mario, what was it? Mario Run. It was just like a single purchase. And that's kind of neat. I, I wish that was more common. Any more customers so you could use more space. Do you agree, Eevee? Yes. Let's upgrade the thing. Expand the cafe. Some other Pokemon could give us a hand. Aw, oh, these things. Uh, I don't like these things. Put your veins inside your body. And they got pompadours. I, the art style doesn't make it too bad, but I, I don't like these guys. I don't like the look they're giving me. 
these guys these guys are definitely teamsters I don't I don't trust them look at look at them they, they've they have killed before and they will do it again I don't like them get them out of here anyway <laughs> that's Pokemon cafe mix that's really cool um, I definitely think I'll enjoy it more than that Pokemon MOBA that I'll probably never play, honestly. Have I ever played a MOBA? I don't think I have. It's just... it's just not my kind of thing. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell! Frog, what are you doing in my house? I- I- I would just get out!